Okay, folks, back with another tree job. It's just a bunch of backyard fur removals. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and then it's kind of little, little dumb tree right here. It's, it lost its top, so all the branches protrude like 25 feet over there. Um, so this one's kind of lame, but they're they're pretty straightforward. They're just furs. Once again, a job where I'm like, maybe I won't film, but I'm out here. I'm working for. RA Tree Service, uh, Ryland Popke. He's in the same town as I am, um, Enumclaw. But he had to run to the dump. And then we are also working with, this is Dean Dawkins over here, Trees with Dino. He does some really good log flopping videos <laughs> on Instagram. Oh, you got that? <laughs> yeah, where'd you get that? Sappy Supplies. Oh man, this is the best store ever. Yep. Yeah, That's sent awesome. Me free. I, I did? I shirt and then you sent me two carabiners and Two of these. Oh yeah, I like to I like to throw yeah, no, I free I, I like to throw free stuff in the boxes. Just like sometimes. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Didn't even ask him for the plug. Look at that. So, anyways, we're just gonna. Ryland's at the dump right now, and uh, they actually didn't take dump trailers at the one close by, so he has to drive kind of far away. So that's why he's not here. So we're just gonna get started. We're just gonna kind of work back to front. It's a two-day job. I think we're gonna try to just get all the brush dealt with today and the wood dealt with tomorrow. That's kind of the plan. If you do one tree, you know, because each one has to be climbed. You cut the limbs off, then you cut the wood off. And if you, if you do one, then you've got all this wood that we're trying to work around. So I think it's best if we just all strip them out. All three of us climb all three of us chip brush that's nice we can all kind of share the load take turns you know so but this back corner is the worst part it's the tedious part i just like to get that done with get that out of the way so i'm gonna go up that tree and take care of that all right gearing up got august monkey beaver belt yeah see those they're kind of dumb how tall is this it's really short i mean i can cut the top out of it i know i was kind of looking at that too like maybe we just fall it well, I gotta at least get the top out of it. It's got a pretty small top. I don't, what were you thinking? About just maybe falling it? Yeah, I didn't know. It's really just short enough after all these are on the way to dump it. But yeah, maybe. Buck like titanium spurs, available at the Sappy Supplies. Stilio, four meters. Sell this at Sappy Supplies. How do you like that? This flip line? No, sorry. The, the what, one, the battery saw? Yeah. Dude, this is so, it's like my favorite saw. It's so awesome. Is it light? You care if I pick it up? Yeah, go for it. You know, it, I don't know if it's technically lighter, but it sure feels lighter when you're using it, not having to start it, and it's always quiet. And yeah. That's really user friendly. And that. that's the heavier battery, too. That's the 300. They make a 200. They make one that's like half that. And it's last so longer? One. Then yeah, that'll last forever. That yeah. that'll last probably like two tanks of gas. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it does. It it sucks when you're chunking wood. It's it doesn't like to fire wood stuff down. But for limbing, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, I haven't ran that in forever. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it is it is loud, but it probably's got great power though. It does. But sometimes I like to quiet. <laughs> yeah, no, the the battery saw is just. I don't really know how to explain it. It's just really user friendly. <laughs> okay, so I'm setting up a block here. This dumb little tree's all you know, tangled with this one. So we've got about 50, 40, 50 feet of rigging, complicated mess. And then after that, this job is gonna be pretty straightforward. It's gonna be a lot of brush to move, but it won't be very technical.
scratches there. Nice raccoon turds. Don't want to cut that and pull my chain of that. It spits them back into my... One time I was climbing a tree. It was actually like this. I had multiple tops. That was way higher than this. I was like, ooh, nasty. There was a big pile, like 10 times that much raccoon poop. And I took my hands out and I like flicked it all off so I could climb past it. And my jacket was on the ground and my rope bag. And I put like, imagine 10 times that much raccoon poop right on top of my, my rope and my jacket. It was really nasty. Yeah, like this is a big old mess right here. Still not totally sure what I want to do to avoid that fence. But sometimes when I get confused, I just cut the stuff that's really simple. That makes sense. And then you look at the tree with a little fresher perspective. You know, just cut the stuff that makes sense and then it's easier to come up with a plan for the tangled mess. We're getting somewhere now. Oh, it's taller than I thought. <laughs> it's just a stub. All right, big branch lowering down. So I'm gonna cut this. You're gonna have to pick it up, but it shouldn't weigh that much. Okay, ready? Yep. No, you're good. How, how does that feel? That felt good. It didn't get you, did it? No, no, it's fine. But could you do, you could do bigger branches than that? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of dumb. You're probably right, Dean. Is that that's probably pretty heavy, huh? Here, I can help you lift. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Whew. See, it's a good thing we left that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why we did that. Yeah, I think after this one's done, they're all going to be really easy. We're going to get a little creative with this one. So these have to get lifted and that was tricky. So we're going to do a the old three to one trick. This one isn't going to lower in as good of a spot, but he'll be able to pick it up this way. I could clip that to that tree, but then we might run out of rope. So I'm going to clip it right there. So now we've got some mechanical advantage. So it's going to have more rope in the system. It's almost better than adding friction because he should be able to lift this. Yeah, big old limbs. Jeez. Beast. 
Gonna uproot, gonna uproot my tree. <laughs> so this one's on a three to one, so it'll be a lot easier this time. It is gonna be closer to this tree than that tree when you lower it, but you'll be able to lift it up now. Okay. You see how I've got it? It's in a, you'll see when you start pulling. Oh, three. I was like, three. So I've got another pulley on it now. Oh, right so on. it's like a three to one deal. Okay. So yeah, see, see how that lift you got? Yeah. So I'm gonna do a notch on the top. Are you able to lift up? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, actually, you know what? Lower it. Here, hold on. There we go. Okay. Here. Uh, I can cut it, I guess. That feel light. Yep, got it. Yep. Can't believe how much brush is on this little tree. Well, I've only got three more bad limbs on this one. It's crazy how the smallest tree here is the hardest one. It's always like the short stubby ones that yeah. suck. Like you ever do, do like little fruit trees and they're just like, what the heck? All right, you ready? I take the lowering line. Okay, I got it. It's amazing what that, uh, that little, block. <laughs> little block, like how light they become when you do that. No, that's perfect. What a mess. I gotta get the top out, but most of the crazy rigging is done. Uh, if you wouldn't mind just helping me get the, that, the one more gnarly limb. And uh, shoot, dude, you see the limb that my rope is touching? Yeah. I might need to lower that one. Okay. And then I think I'm all good. I should have just set up my GRCS <laughs> when I first got here. That would have been the smart thing to do. Okay, I'm just gonna track this one. Hey, okay. Dean. Yeah, and then uh, and then we can just both climb after we do this. Yeah. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'll have these on the store. I've talked to Stein, I'm gonna start supplying their stuff. Gosh, it's just a million things to do for sappy supplies. Yeah. So much to do, so much stuff to get. It's so expensive buying everything. But anyways, by the time this video comes out, hopefully I'll have some of these in my store. This thing is so cool. Just like a poor rat, but it's, you know, you put it on with a ratchet strap instead. So it's really stout. It doesn't flop up and down. I can't remember exactly what the price is, but it's similar to a poor wrap. It's not, I think it might be a little more, but it's, it's about the same price. But after you get a poor wrap in a sling and you don't have to like tie knots, try to get it all super tight. You just, no, I, I love this thing. It's awesome designed by Reg Coates, another tree guy, YouTuber, okay. YouTuber tree guy. Can you hold this for me, Dean? Just hold it. You ever seen one of these? Not this. You know uh, Reg Coates on YouTube? Um, another, another YouTube tree guy. Probably in Pogo names. You, you probably know him, but he designed this thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's it's basically the same thing as a porter app. It's just put it on with a ratchet word? strap instead. Yeah. But it's it's cool because it doesn't like flop up and down like a cord wrap does. And, uh, and it doesn't coil up the rope. You know how you get those twisted coils in the port wrap? Yeah. You don't get that in this because you don't have to put a bite through the rope. Oh. Yeah, it's really cool. 
I think this is like you can set up some sort of mechanical advantage thing or something, but really this is all there is to it. It's it's just a port. It's basically just a port wrap on steroids, you know. So it's gooder. It's gooder, yeah. <laughs> you want to cut it or do you want me to cut it? You can. <laughs> Here, I'll trade you. So, I'll give you my saw. Here, Here I'll trade you. you. You can cut it. I'll do that if you want. Which way are you wanting this thing to? I think you would just cut it and just let it hang and just, yeah, just one cut. Nice, okay. Yeah. What's that? What is this? 462. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna get a 500i, but that's what I've got for now. How much brush is in that little tree? Probably like the same amount as probably more brush more. on this than that one. You think you're like this. Dude. Uh Dean. Yeah. Uh here, you wanna try mine? Is yeah. there a battery one? I was just calling Ryland to see if he picked me up the chain. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, try mine, please. Okay, thank you. Can you do me a big favor? Do you think you could do this one first? Yes, Cause I then do. I'll have more room for mine. Yes, I That'd be awesome. All right, Dean's going up. He's old school, but he's a really good climber. Yeah, as soon as you let go, the trigger is stopped. Isn't that weird? I like that. Yeah, no like free spinning or nothing. Yeah, or like the older saws, well, not nice ones. The chain just goes, the sprocket's gone. Yeah. So I'll learn this down. Put a couple of these bad boys on there.
Nice job. I mean, so he's bringing a machine, like an excavator? I don't know, because it changed on the phone. I think we're going to do rounds. Like bucket up? Yeah, down there. I ain't going to cut um, foot logs. Just get the logs down <laughs> yeah. and just deal with it later. We were talking this isn't to a very organized somebody job site. Huh? <laughs> this isn't a very organized job no. site. <laughs> So the tank, or is that the drain oh, field? Oh yeah, there's something over here, huh? So the drain field. I feel like it was kind of far to the left though, wasn't it? Yeah, I put that right where the tent is. There's Rylan. So I think I can put him right, aim yeah, towards the corner of the fence. What do you think about that? That little, like, what, a chunk of wood is too? Like aim him to the corner of that fence right there? Oh yeah, that's exactly where I was gonna go, but on my side. Okay. Right on. So don't flip 27s. <laughs> <laughs> I don't measure them, I just. I'm actually shocked you get him to land that flat, cutting specific lengths. Yeah, a lot of yeah. practice and a lot of uh, mistakes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Nice. Take the spur out. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost went with the lug. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Psych. Pause. <laughs> Oh, I had a Dutchman. I was gonna say, I wonder if on that corner, if there was a little in, but did it touch? It didn't look like it met on either, either side. I did have a Dutchman. I thought I, uh, but did it meet though? But my Dutchman was on the horizontal, huh? Did it, did it, it didn't meet though, so. Well, the hinge, it probably started going over and then this hinge stopped because there's a little lip right here. I can't tell if it's high yeah. on that end. Oh, it is. So I had a Dutchman on the top one. It landed good. Well. Yeah. And they don't care if we smash that bush, right? Some yeah. like they're tearing all this out. Yeah, that's good. Big old limbs on that guy. You don't like hanging it on your hip? Oh, I've never done that. You ever tried? No. You have a slot for it? Like, yeah, I got these little. Here, try, try that. Just slide that. I mean, I just think it saves a lot of energy over the day not pulling it up so far. Yeah, try that. See if you like it. It's definitely easier to move around if you got to swing around and stuff, but. Yeah, it's that ring. You have the, it goes with a ring in your, yeah. You See? just do it so fast. Uh, it's easier with the Husky because it's got the little extra. I mean, you could do it that way too with the carabiner, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. You get used to it. Here. No, no, try it. Yeah, just try it. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Thanks.
You got your foot blind? Yeah, it's through and it went like that. I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have see people online, they say that you can cut through a steel core flip line with a chainsaw yeah. easy? No way. It's not that easy. <laughs> have you ever cut through a, a rock? <laughs> yeah, nope. That's a bummer. Oh. I guess I gotta start drinking Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad for you. <laughs> Isn't it, remember that back in the day, wasn't it, it lowers your tea or... Uh, or uh, Shrinks your balls, he yeah. said, yeah. Who needs big balls, anyways? <laughs> <laughs> right by you. <laughs> That would have sucked us. 
I didn't clean that a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Ignite. Yeah. That was a little longer than I thought. Uh -huh. It's a little longer than I thought. <laughs> it's a big piece of wood. All right. up one more tree man it's getting late it's 4 30 right now starting start up this other guy hey jake i gotta get going but it was <laughs> it's good meeting you yeah, yeah. hey dave i gotta go It's like five o'clock. I've, I've got to get going. I can't work this late. I've got stuff I got to do this evening. So I told Ryan, like, hey man, I, I got to go. So he was cool. Uh, so I'm taking off. <laughs> they're going to finish that brush today. They're animals. They're going to they're gonna be here for a while. Um, and then it's just the wood. So I thought it was going to be a two day job. I'm only here for one day because they don't uh, need any other climbing or anything. It's just going to be dealing with the wood tomorrow. So this video is over. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Ah, please like and subscribe. It was cool working with Dean and Ryland and Jake today. So anyways, yeah, I thought I'd be here for two days. I'm here for one day, which is good because that means I can get caught up on uh, with Sappy, Sappy Supplies. Check out my store, my Arbor Supply store, sappysupplies.com. If you need any Arborist gear, I need to make sure that I need to do a walk around, make sure all my gearboxes are closed. Almost pulled out of the driveway without. Big problem. One time I lost uh, one spur, one carbon fiber spur out the box of the chip truck. I always walk around, make sure Everything's tidy and in order. Anyways, my walk around's done. I gotta get home. I'll see you guys. Make sure you follow Trees with Dino and RA Tree Service on Instagram. And I'll see you guys later.